News 10 first told you about the Stralo case during the top five countdown of Medford's most wanted worst offenders. It's a case that went unsolved until the seventh anniversary of Dolores Stralo's death. The murderer was her own husband. Now for the first time, the victim's daughters are telling their story to News 10's Crystal Henderson. He's a very dark person. Deep down inside, he's a very dark person. In a story of murder and darkness, there is beauty. Mom was a very bright person. She was a friendly person. She got along with everybody. I mean, her motto was, there's no evil people in the world. You just have to look deeper sometimes. Cindy Jackson and Tony Miller don't want their mother's bright memory to go dark. We want people to know who she was and who he is, because someday he'll get out. And I don't think a zebra changes its stripes at all. I think he's just the same person he was now he when he went in. Well, yeah, only maybe now he knows a little bit more because he's been where he is. Arnold Stralo is behind bars for murdering his wife Dolores in 1987. But it took police exactly seven years on the anniversary of her death to put him there. During those years, Dolores' body was also missing. Jackson and Miller knew Stralo killed their mother. They say he wanted to keep them quiet. Our kids were young and Arnie had pretty much threatened our children, so we were actually afraid for our children, too. It was very scary for seven years. I says, Arnie, I know you did something horrible to my mother, and I will never stop until you pay for it. And he paused for a second, and he said, wouldn't it be awful if one of the kids disappeared just like your mom? Police found Dolores wrapped in a blue tarp and duct tape under some logs in a forested area near Weimar. Some bones, pieces of skull, a tooth, and a wedding ring were all that was left. Strela was convicted of murder but never confessed. What's it like knowing that he's never confessed to actually killing her? I've called the prison to see if maybe, you know, they've got him to confess, but when, that's been some years back, and they don't even talk to him about what they're in there for. He doesn't have to discuss why he's in there. Instead, Stralo told them their mother killed herself and he hid her body to make things easier for them. He's a pathological liar. You know, he, um, at the trial, he, he said that he, he did this to help us. He said things at the trial like that we were stressing her out, that she was suicidal, which was so far from who she, she was. Never would have committed suicide. Never. Not ever. For any reason. Now all they have is pictures and memories of her. She's still a part of our lives. She'll always be a part of our lives, but she's not with us. Mm -hmm. And he took her from us. And even though he's in prison and been convicted, he still took her from us. Yeah, and, never get over uh, it. Jackson and Miller are telling their mother's story to make a difference in the lives of others who may also be victims of domestic violence. Yeah. You've never seen these? Yeah, they take them from town to town with the domestic abuse. And our mother is one of them. Yeah, she's been They ask us years. if they, if they could, and her. they have a Talk plaque on it, and, they, have, and they, they move them around for people to see. And I just, I would like that people would be more aware. I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody else. Their mother, a face of domestic abuse, and hopefully not the forgotten. Covering your news, Crystal Henderson, News 10. Stralo is serving a sentence of 25 years to life, which means he would be eligible for parole in 2019.